Well, welcome to week two of supporting leading educational change. I'm really pleased to see that uh, from a bumpy start, everyone's managed to get online and get started. Um, I hope you're looking forward to what we have in store and certainly reading some of your messages. Um, it looks like uh, you're, you're up for uh, the challenge. So this week we're really going to get into the swing of the course and getting a sense of what it will be like each week with interlinked readings for you this week including Chapter 2 of Advancing Practice in Academic Development, which is written by my uh, colleagues at Manchester Met, Rachel and Charles, um, and interlinked tasks that build on what you started last week. As you've seen, we've put you into tutor groups um, because we think this helps you get through the course and gives you a sense of identity, um, but it doesn't preclude you from working with anybody else on the course when you bump into people online who've got similar interests, challenges, projects to you. That's absolutely fine to build those connections. Um, and indeed the tutors will um, interact with you on, you know, in different ways, not just in the tutor group. Often it's, you know, who's around at the time when you post, um, who picks it up. Um, I hope you've started to get a sense that the what the uh, tasks that you do build up week by week um, and and the really exciting thing about the course is that you've already written some elements of your portfolio now um, and you'll add to this each week so the the role description you wrote last week is the the sort of the frontispiece for your portfolio and the go-to text probably sits somewhere a bit later on when you're um, writing your scholarly reflection on how the seed values inform your work uh, you'll com continue to build your portfolio over the coming weeks and the main thing to remember is that it's really important to keep hold of everything you write, including um, anything online, posts, responses to others, um, reflections in the penultimate task each week. Um, in a week or so we'll share some past student portfolios with you and that will give you a sense of what they might look like and how you can begin to stitch them uh, together into the final product. Um, I think the tasks for this week are all self-explanatory, and if not, let me know. Um, the emphasis this week is about thinking around key issues around being an academic or educational developer, um, thinking about it in terms of your personal philosophy, your interactions with colleagues. Um, and one of the things that we're going to ask you to do is the teaching perspectives inventory. Now, some of you may have done this before, um, for others it might be new. But it links back to the orientations question um, uh, that follow the week one reading task. Um, we're also going to ask you to reflect on some of the issues you've encountered in your, in your current role or previous roles with a diagnostic audit. Now this is something that you'll do now at the beginning of the course and then again um, at, towards the end. Hopefully charting some sort of journey um, and change in your attitudes and, and your perspectives. Um, and hopefully in your confidence. We're not just checking things that you know you feel that you need to develop, but also the things at this stage you're proud of. Um, on Wednesday this week, we'll be going to try for a live webinar, um, and I'll be sending out joining instructions for that very soon. Um, we, we may possibly be running two versions of that at different times, because this year we've got quite an international contingent to the group. So we've got um, participants in Canada, in Denmark, in Hong Kong and in Fiji, which I think is a first. Um, anyway, welcome to week two. I hope that all the um, technical teething problems are now sorted out. And I look forward to speaking to you um, in some format over the next few days. Take care. Bye now.